John Davis has been here since 7.30. <laughs> you made it here earlier today than any time you ever I worked know. here. I dropped my kids off at school, and I was like, well, I can drive home and sit down and then stand back up and come back here. Or just come on over. Or I can just Shadow come here. Town in manners. So then I went and I started pressing buttons on the door. Couldn't remember the code. Then the door was locked. And then I was like, do I still have a key? Yes, I do. Yeah. So I got in. I've been hanging out in the dark. And I refreshed him on every code we had. So he was able to get in. I was in. No you know? police involved. Yeah. Hey, there you go. But Here I am. <laughs> I did find it funny that like, 720, you're texting me for getting in here. Like, <laughs> I didn't have nothing to do. That never happened. Even when you took kids to school when you worked here, you were still never here at 7. Well, yeah, work didn't start till 9. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing my own thing. Yeah. <laughs> I guess maybe you showed up for big soccer matches or something. Yeah. yeah there if you I go. needed somewhere to sit, yeah. I would show up early. Godwin, you getting cremated or you getting buried? Oh, that was a good. That was a. What is it? That was what we did talk about. Probably cremated. Line. Really? Cheaper. It is cheaper. Yeah. My man. Hi. All right. Size doing appearances at crematoriums now, if that tells you where he's at in life. So. <laughs> no, I, I, ask, I, I actually asked the guy that owns it. I said, what was this? You just had to sleep this night? And what he, you know, let me invite Uncle Si and put him in the obituary column for, you know, come see him at, at the crematorium. Marketing there 101. You there you go. Know your but, crowd. All right. Hey man, but it yeah. was inter- it was interesting. <laughs> know your okay. customer, yeah, yeah. It was like, interesting. Uh, it would be funny if they had like a size special. Like, I mean, I don't know what it would be, but <laughs> oh, they talk about get your it. get your remains oh, yeah. in a tea they, glass. Or yeah, something. they talk about really it not today, like, guys. It would be so go. funny. No, don't man. go there. I, said, I have enough. Up? I have enough people saying, "Hey, I heard you died." Yeah. Oh no, that is yeah. Oh, yeah. We've been yeah. dealing with that. You died seven. once or twice a year. Oh yeah, for the last ten years. Yeah, like, well, hey, but you I keep see. on coming back. Yeah. It's just news it's like for a me. Time, you know? Yeah, thanks for making me the on ticking. On ticking. Oh man, yeah, what a life! What a life! Well, Goblin, what have you been up to? Five two, as a blue. How about you? You're taller than five two. Yeah, <laughs> <He is>. yeah. <laughs> I've least. been trying to get that woman on a deer up there in Arkansas. Uh-oh. She ain't I, killed us yet. She picked a bow up the other day. There's a bunch of does out there. All I could see was back straps walking around. <laughs> no dice. She Somebody. picked it up and she put it back down. I said, no. She a snob. She's waiting on a buck. I said, you getting too greedy. Yep. I said. <laughs> yeah, don't you like eating these things? Yeah, we ain't got about three or four packs of deer meat left from last year. Yeah. It's it's well, going to be over. Hey, no, no, she's managing, okay? She's <laughs> managing the herd. Well, I want to manage. Let her go. Yeah. Something in my belly. Yeah. Well, that's when y'all just both need to take a weapon. And if she ain't prepared to I ain't do bought that, my license up there yet. Oh, you you that tight now? No, I just <laughs> waiting on her. <laughs> that's my problem with Arkansas. I clicked that little auto renew button and every right every right. August I get a bill for like four hundred dollars saying your license renewed and I'm yeah. like, Oh yeah. Yes. Maybe I'll actually deer hunt there. Well, it's more year. than that this year. They is went it, up. Is it? I don't. It was well, every, I've already been up. charged. Yeah, everybody so. already went up. I Whatever it is, I've already been charged. So I'm committed to hunt at least once in the state of Arkansas. For Louisiana. Yeah, even the senior thing went up. Yeah, oh, yeah, it went up. You, I was shocked. You poor boys. It cost $10 to hunt. Yeah, Lee. Hey, yeah. hey, unbelievable. Where? Hey, double. Here? Boys. Hey. Here? No, it's five. Uh oh. For the combo? For the combo, yeah. Yeah. $5. If you do it online, Fishing. they charge you a five dollar convenience yeah. fee. Ah, and I don't mind paying that convenience fee. Well, you could always just call John David; he'd do it for you. Yeah, but boom, hunting and fishing. Yeah, oh, ten bucks. They just clipped me for a grand because for Christmas. Ah, uh, you doing the d- d- double lifetime? I did the double lifetime for the Uh-oh. boys. They're going to be really excited to open that. It's going to mean a lot to them. They're not they even going to be the, hunters. At the ripe old age of one. Oh, that would be the pits, <laughs> wouldn't it? Hey, I don't care if they are, uh, if well, they hey, ain't. Look, that's up to them. That's a $500 investment yeah, I made yeah. in them that they won't have to hey. buy nothing but a federal duck stamp in this state yeah. ever again. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I'm cool which, with it. Which is worth it. Yeah, I'm cool with the yeah, gamble. Like, once they can pay for it, it pays for itself in, like, five years. So it's not yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. good for them, you know. They ain't having to hit me up for a hunting license, and I don't have to worry if they're legal with me or not. Mm-hmm. Like, they got it. We're good. 
It's a convenient thing. You know what is. duck hunters eat with crackers? I mean, with cheese. Oh, quackers. Yeah, yeah quackers. you gave that quackers. one away. Gave it away. Quackers. Yeah, you gave I ain't had away. enough coffee yet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he ain't had enough coffee, boys. <laughs> you know, duck you know. with crackers, Baby I mean quackers, I mean cheese. Yeah. <laughs> cheese, quackers. <laughs> Give it away. Hey, Godwin, um, you know why you never see elephants hiding in trees? Because they're good at it. Jacob, I tried, man. I'm sorry. I thought it, he can't. You can't stump the man. Wow. He knows them all. Really? That was man. That, I, I had no ever, idea. Have you ever seen them? No. That's what I'm talking. Yeah. About. Hey, they're good at it. Suckers right. are good, boy. Hey, I've good. only ever seen you. You'll never zoo. see them up yeah. in the tree. <laughs> I read that email. I said, "Boy, I'm going to stump uh, Godwin with this nope. from, oh, from no. my man Jacob." And uh, oh. Godwin said that was a softball. Yeah, that one was too easy. It was it. No, for him. I wow. mean, it wasn't for me. I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking of something about trunks and trees, and yeah. I was trying yeah. to figure out the pun yeah. on it. I yeah. never would have went with so simple as they're That's good right. at it. Hey, 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 you never see them because they're good at it. Boy. There you go. They are. Hide yeah. and seek champions. They are. <laughs> never find them. You'll never see them. <laughs> if you can't find an elephant, that's a bad deal. <laughs> There's one in every room. Huh? Yeah. What? You don't. Know that phrase, the elephant oh, in the room? I was fixing to say. Oh, like, that went over my head. Oh, wow, what a lot. Man, Cy, you're old. Hey, <laughs> what? No, do you I'm have, not. Hey, do you I'm have in trouble? my prime, son. <laughs> well, this, I mean. 75 years old but, in my prime. Get the, it? The problem is again. Cy is an anomaly, and he actually doesn't have problems sleeping as he gets older. That's it. It actually has gotten better with him. So, Cy, you don't really even have to pay attention during this, but. For the rest of us that do have some problems sleeping, look, Hatch, it started with me getting a couple for the boys, and now it's elevated to, it's in every room of our house. There is a hatch. Every single one of them? There's a Hatch device in every, Uh we are now a family of five Hatches. Five five Hatches? Yeah, I had to put one in the living room, because like when the boys are- You take naps there sometimes, don't you? Bonus Hatch. See, when they're sick, and I don't want to stay all the way in the bedroom, so I cut down on the steps to their room. I can still just go pop, hit it with my phone, turn it on. He's a hatch man. I'm, I'm a hatch. I hey through and through. Because if you do have a hatch restored too, it's your bedside sleep guide, your ally and rest. The innovative all-in-one dream machine is a sophisticated sound machine, light and alarm clock, beautifully designed for your bedside table. Good rest allows you to be the best version of yourself. How y'all think I still here? Stop yeah, being active. Know. It's because he gets plenty of good rest, and which is why the Hatch Restore 2 was engineered to help you form healthy sleep habits for life. Your Hatch teaches your body when it's time to sleep and when it's time to rise with light and sound cues. It coaches you through meditation and mindfulness exercises that transform the time before and after sleep into restful rituals. So basically they said, you know what? If it works on kids, I bet it'll work on adults too. Boom. And you know what? They're right. I don't you think, can teach an old dog I new need, tricks. I don't think I need it. You don't need it. That's See, right. the problem is the you, you, ne- you may never wake up. That's right. But right. it may keep you from sleeping 20 hours. It may get you down to like a healthy 16. Well, no, I, hey, well, like you right. go in our bedroom. At it like, makes it easier, right? You go in our bedroom at 8 o'clock. There's a little soft yellow light, and there's just there's some little forest sounds mm. playing. Is how ah. we have it set. Birds chirping. It's doing its thing. And then at 9 o'clock, it switches to that brown noise. And I don't even know I'm asleep. I just wake up next morning when it goes off. Ooh, I'm like, well, that's fantastic. I have to get up. But look, that, I'm just telling you, it is what it is. Do what you will. We've got them. I think you should too. Right now, Hatch is offering our listeners $20 off your purchase of a Hatch Restore 2 and free shipping at hatch.co slash duck. Sleep deeply and wake gently with a Restore 2. Go to hatch.co slash duck to get $20 off and free shipping. That's hatch.co slash duck. duck. Well, you weren't here at 7.30, but at about 8.30 when Cy showed up, the whole building began to shake because the back door was locked. Mm Mm-hmm. Just. Well, hey, I hit it one time, and then I sat there for about a minute, and then I just hammered it. And then then somebody screamed, we're coming, we're coming, hold on, hold on. He nearly broke the door. Hey, have y'all noticed that they're building stuff now? I don't know the name of it. It's air mixed with concrete. Do what? Yeah. It's air mixed Mar- with concrete. Marshmallow concrete. A lot of voids. No, no. And and it you know, it it's it's they they just you know, lay it in a line, you know. It's it's fancy. That's foam. What? That's expanded foam. Well, whatever it is, it's concrete. 
mixed with air. We're going to need somebody smarter than us to email yeah, him. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not up to snuff on this PBS had it on, and guess who's using it? Oh, there it is. The military. No. Beavers. No. Indians. Okay, the Native Americans. Okay. I was about okay. to ask from yeah. and Asia look. or from here. Yeah. Okay. It, it was very interesting, though, okay, because it's built like a teepee, okay? You know, like they used all the buffalo hides to yep. build their teepee right. with sticks. Okay, but I didn't know it's a family thing because what they would do, they'd put the first teepee down and then they'd do it in a circle with the rest of them. So, the, so nowadays with this new air concrete foam stuff, they're making them circular, okay, and connected. Like they'll build the first one, and it's just about big around as these two tables. You know, it's a, a, a round dome. And then they build the next one and hook it to, together. And when did they actually get them finished and, and built inside? It's pretty good. Fifteen bedroom home. Oh, oh hey, yeah, it's just you, know, you just had you room. just had the, your whole family. Fifteen bathrooms. Yeah, I can but see this coming up on Airbnb here for long. I don't know. I don't really understand still what's happening. Yeah, I don't either. What's the advantage? Because is it lighter? Uh, it's lighter and stronger. Less lighter concrete. and stronger. and warmer. Because like in the the, yeah, you can the see reservation that they were talking about is, is the this pipe. what we're talking about? This yeah. The Pine Crest Reservation in South Dakota. That's okay. in Kansas. Now that's oh oh, I, oh they don't got fancy now. Concrete. Oh TVs. yeah, they yeah they don't got fancy with that one. I, oh, that, I, didn't, that, I didn't see that one last night. I I'm just googling yeah. random things. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but hey, I just thought it was cool. And look, they're also into uh, solar panels. Yeah. Okay. Well, there ain't no trees up there. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Yeah. Solar panels. No, no. Yeah, solar panels. Yeah, that's the thing. It's looked like a mirror, and it takes the sunlight and then stores it, and have you got energy. No, I know that. Electricity and all this. Who's good using stuff. this? Huh? Who's using this? The Indians. Okay. The uh, Sioux, I think. Okay. Dakotas. It's Dakotas. So yeah. I guess it'd be the, the Sioux. Sioux. Yeah. Yeah. So I just thought it was actually cool. Okay. Yeah. Concrete, concrete, mixed with concrete air. teepees mixed concrete with air. I thought everything and was it, mixed it's with mixed air. It's mixed with it's concrete mixed with air. I'm telling you, it's light. Okay, it's very good. Like as they said, they were talking about. You know, it was forty below. It gets cold in Dakota. Oh, I'm know? out. Yeah, uh, when you said forty below, guess what? I'm heading south. No, I okay. ain't, I ain't even gonna have that chance. <laughs> I know this summer. Hey, I am a fair weather person. Look, I know okay. this summer was hot. Yeah, but I can deal with heat. That's I, forty that's below. I, I, yeah. Uh. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. I am a fair weather hunter. Because even at one hundred and ten, I still went outside. Oh yeah. At forty below, you 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 can't go nowhere. No. Oh no no. Hey. Oh yes. Yeah, what? Yeah. Your breath yeah. freezes. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's when you die. Yeah. You know that kind of cold, you die. At least the heat, you can go sit in the shade. You, you, you man. Hey, I'd for a rather burn up than hey, freeze to death. He said, "That's when you die." See, look, hey, that's I'm another, fair. that's another crematorium plug. I'm you hear that? Hey, he'd rather burn up than freeze to death. Look, hey, but would you rather freeze to death or no. burn to death? No, yeah, there's a reason. I'm not going to do either. Would you rather freeze. There's to a death reason or heaven and hell going to do are a thing, and hell is fire. Well, hey, here's the thing. If I've got matches. I'm not going to freeze to death because I will set fire to everything I can get my hands on. Even him. Okay. Even a fat person. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in trouble, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'd be, I ain't going to lie, I'd be a pretty good wick for you. Well, no, I'm serious, okay? Uh, yeah, I probably got a pretty good layer there that you could burn for a while. Oh, no, you, cause look. Keep hey, you going. The, the coldest I've ever been, I've ever been was in Germany. And we was out in the field, okay, and here comes, we can see it coming. Here comes a fog that is, everything, as soon as it moves through, is iced over. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. No. It's time to go. Yeah, oh, no. That's what I told the commander. I said, hey, we need to call this field off. Let's go back to garrison. He said, no. I said, well, break out the Herman Nelson heaters. And look, I had to put the tent up. Put the, 
Herman Nelson heaters together and then had it running red all the way out to the top. And he said, you're fixing to burn the tents up. I said, hey, trust me when I tell you this. You see that this knife out there? I said, when the tents burn down, I'm going to put gas on that and light it, and we're going we to stay warm by that. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I will burn everything the United States Army has got before I freeze to death. And you can take that and put it in the bank. <laughs> you know, and I got to tell you, he is, <laughs> Oh, after I, duck hunting with him for about 15 years, he ain't bluffing. He will burn it down. He will Hold burn on. everything. Right. He is lit. Shotgun shell boxes right. on fire. His jacket. Yeah. Like, the boy ain't oh, going to hey. get cold. You know hey. you cold when you tu- when you set your jacket oh, on no, fire. Hey. Now, that was I unintentional, but he did use the heat from it to stay hey. warm. I see like, it. I see it. Hey. Like, the jacket the hey. jacket was unintentional, but once it happened, he's like, hey, boy, no, don't, don't why put it out. Make it? Yeah. Why are you naked? Don't put it out yet. Hey, I don't fell worry. in the lake and got wet, and I'm trying to dry my clothes. He said, yeah, but they're on fire. I said, that's okay. I'm, I'm yeah. warm, though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm warm. <laughs> yeah, that boy ain't gonna get cold. I ain't gonna get cold. He okay. he will do everything. No sir. He likes somebody scared of the dark. Their woods ain't gonna go dark. They got 17 flashlights with them. You That's know, right. hey, that kind of deal. He ain't the boy ain't gonna get cold. You gotta have his eye, baby. It feels the same way. There ain't no more who's a man feel at 50 degrees <laughs> like that that fish cooker down there. He just got <laughs> a little a little flame down there. He just, oh no, yeah. He just Yo, down Jason's there like saying, yeah. hey, who flared the ducks? <laughs> it's hey, we had it camouflaged, but hey, they pulled the camouflage netting off of the white, uh, big five gallon propane. Propane. He said, "Them old men, they they're the flaring the ducks." Yep. Yeah, and Phil said, "I ain't ever flared ducks." Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they got it's just uh, he he's a little bit. Yeah. Some of them, he's some of them got that. them twenty gallon tanks in them. Yeah. Oh yeah. On the back back here, Phil ain't gonna get cold no more. No. Phil got 20 gallon propane tank. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like the kind that would be outside oh, the trailer house and them stuff. Tall. Yeah. Them tall, long ones. Yeah. yeah. Big, them big ones. Yeah, he got them back there in the boat run of the duck blind. He ain't getting cold no more. I can tell you that right now. Like, them boys, they done come a long way. They well, said, hey, here's nope. how bad it is. He here's got beaver He got beaver socks. Yeah. And 20 gallons worth of propane says, I'll stay here all day. Look, it iced over. We go to the lake. And we're coming in. We when the, we pull the boat in the blind, there's a beaver sitting on on there, and he's about to freeze to death. Okay, he's sitting. And y'all going duck hunt? And we're going duck hunt. Okay, and Thorn's already been out there with the motor busting ice hole. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we can shoot ducks. I I never ever understood that. Everything is froze over. You go out there and you take a chainsaw if you got it and cut a round hole. And then slide that up under the deal. And just wait. Throw your decoys out. And, hey, here they come. Hopefully. Oh, no, no. It works. No, no. no it works. It, it they, works. And I'm saying, wait a minute. Hold it. If they fly over your you're head, just it picking, works. Yeah. You're just picking a random spot in a iced over 100,000 acres. And you cut a circle in that 100,000 acre, little bitty one, throw some duck decoys out and get in the blind, sit there, and, hey, here comes the duck. Mm-hmm. How do they know that you cut a hole in the ice? Yeah. We generally just go turn the pump on. Hey. <laughs> Keep the water moving. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make hey. some current. Insane. Insane. Is and, yeah. He said Oh, wow. Yeah. Insane. What's yeah. insane is we ain't taking a break yet. Let's do that right now. We'll be hey, back right after go. this. Thank boy. Hey, I need a tea yeah, break anyway. You know what time it is, J.D.? What time is it, Sam? It's AG1 time, it is baby. AG Here we go. AG1 time. Uh, of course mm-hmm. you right. know what we're talking about. If you've been a fan of the podcast, if you're new to the podcast, you're about to find out. We drink AG1 around here. Drink it every day. Every day? Why? Me and my wife are drinking it. Why do you drink it? Because it's got 75 minerals and immune system things and... All the good stuff. So si, you're, you're okay. almost exactly right. Hey, no, no, I'm serious. That's why I drink it. I'm going to break it out a little better than all the things, but that's because AG1 is a foundational nutrition supplement that supports your body's universal needs like gut optimization, mm-hmm. stress management, and immune support. Since 2010, AG1 has led the future of foundational nutrition, continuously refining their formula to create a smarter, better way to elevate your baseline health. I just feel healthier every day 
want to drink it for real. I'm not having to like try and figure out do I need vitamin B, yeah. C, D? I don't understand that. I let smarter people than me do that because when you drink AG1 instead of just a multivitamin, every scoop's going to include magnesium and B vitamins for energy support, adaptogens to balance your body's stress levels, vitamin C and zinc to help support my immune health. And I'm not smart enough to figure all that out. So AG1's got it right there for less than a cup of coffee. Pour one scoop in, drink that in the morning, and you are good to go. We've been talking about it for a real long time, and that's because we believe in it. AG1 is the supplement I trust to provide the support my body needs daily, and that's why they've been a partner for so long. If you want to take ownership over your health, it starts with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash duck. That's drinkag1.com slash duck. Check it out. Drink AG1. Well, yeah, hey, hey mm-hmm. that's why, hey, I'm telling you, you need to do what I and do. And every once in a while, Hey, sleep throb. 18 hours and get rid of all this. <laughs> let it go somewhere? Let's let it go somewhere else. Well, you take care of my kids, that's and maybe good, I can I, maybe I can point. sleep eighteen hours. But whatever this was, I would not be a good uh, what, what caretaker they babysitter. I wouldn't be a good babysitter. Why not? I just wouldn't. I'm a kid myself. Oh yeah, you ain't gonna change no diapers. <laughs> Never mind. That's right. Uh, no. Yeah, but Whoa, he got serious with no, that. No, no, no. It's it's because I cannot. You oh come okay, on. Okay, no. I'm serious. Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm not letting you off the Look, hook for this. We done had one bad accident. Kid has got has got all all uh, you know. He's done number two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What you year make was it, this? You want to make that worse with me vomiting? Vomiting. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's why I can't do it. I tell you what. Now that the boys are on real food, it's weird. Oh uh, yeah. Oh Ooh. no no. That's why. Hey. That there's some changes going on down hey, there. Here Ooh. is a a medical deal. If you get pregnant, darling, you need to breastfeed your baby. Ah, oh, well, I mean, no, no, to each hey, his own. Oh no, cause hey, if they do can. not stink as bad. Okay, when they're spitting up, and then when they do number two, that oh, good grief, yeah, it's it has to do with and it's healthy. You are clearly it a, helps their immune system. You are clearly a formula baby then. Uh, no, yeah. oh no. Hey, formula is out. Oh, here we go. No, formula a, in. No. This old, is this out. old dude right here started eating hot dogs straight out the womb. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. He had tea and hot dogs and just, dude, fine. just double fisting, both of them. Hey. What? Hold I'm on. You. But you've never changed the diaper, so like hey, where, where's the science coming I in? Can't. Yeah. Where's I the can't. research? Why can't you? You can hey, skin a deer. Hey, come on. Hey. Can you skin a deer? Huh? Which is one of the nastiest things. Not a gut shot on one. Not a gut shot. So smells get you. Smells get me. Yeah. Smells My brother in field is just the opposite. Nothing bothers him. Yeah. But he, he ain't ever changed a diaper either. That yeah, don't he bother ain't me. That. But, but he, he just, hey, he just did it because, hey, his motto, who's the man? I ain't got time for change the diaper. Yeah. But mine is, hey, I can't do it because all I'm going to do is make it worse. Okay, it's bad enough you got to clean the child up, but now you got to clean up what I do up. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, oh, I'm no. not good with smells, but just, you know, just pull the whole. Nope. Well, nope. no, they got that deal now. Like shirt over the nose, and nope. they got that nope. deal now that 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 old boy sent me. It's actually really cool. Called the dad nose. You just put it over your nose, and it's like a scented thing. It's that a little ball. Looks that like that wouldn't re- work. Oh, buddy, that you wouldn't can't work. smell nothing through that. I, I don't I, like I, mixing toddler poop with vanilla. Scent, I, huh? I don't like I don't like good scent and bad scent mixed. No, in. these are like different. These are like pine. This and is yeah, a, pine and I, poop don't go together. Yeah, you know, sure they do. You don't tell me. Did you go to elementary school? Pine is a medical. Uh, is a mental thing. Is it a medical but, or a mental? Yeah, thing? I, I, mental and medical probably. But anyway, because <laughs> hey, you could put all all you wanted to to cover up to my nose. I'm still going. Oh, ah. God, when I got to know, you're from kind of this generation. Did you change a diaper? <laughs> I changed 976 of them. He counted. Hey, he was keeping score. Cause I was <laughs> when I didn't change one, I got told you didn't change that diaper. You ain't change. You don't change no diaper. So I started keeping count. True story. But here, here's the deal. When, when that baby cries, but you got to be quick. <laughs> you just as soon as that baby cries, you say your turn. 
every time. <laughs> man, all you people that just have one at a time, y'all live in life, man. You ain't, you ain't got that luck with two of them. My wife. now they're to the sympathy cry. One of them cries, the other one start crying. Ain't no your turn. It's like. One of them poops, yeah. the other one's like, hey, that sounds fun. Me yeah. too. My wife goes to the store. I'll be back in a minute. I'm with the kid. She Which does, kid? Huh? Tracer. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Tracer. She's done number two. <laughs> this story okay. coming out hey, to the world. Look, we go outside, take your clothes off, and I bring out the, the whole. Oh, amen. <laughs> hey. You that? Oh, that's. And then, hey, she run naked till mom come home, put a new deal. Hold on. Well, now, she's clean. Why didn't you just put one on her? No. Now, what, hey. No. When we went to potty training and they were in underwear. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. If you crapped your pants. Yeah, wad it up, throw it away, start over. No, nope, right. out in the yard. Yeah. Get naked. I'm going to hose you down. That's right. Then you're going to stay that way. And then <laughs> it, and then they're like, I, I actually don't want to get hosed down ever again outside in the front yard. And then they never poop their pants again. It's good training. See, the problem is, though, if you have a kid like Cy that don't mind being naked. That is a, well, it needs to be cold water then. It would really make cold. <laughs> It or high pressure. Just make sure you're potty training somebody like Cy in December <laughs> yeah. and just spray them down. They will never. Never again. Never, They'll no. make themselves never sick holding that's probably, that's probably why. There you go. Yeah, I think I did that with all three of my kids. Potty training 101. There you, there you go. go boys. You didn't know you were going to get that today, people. Uh -huh. <laughs> you never do. We didn't either. <laughs> we didn't. That's the beauty of this one. <laughs> hey. Besides the fence, though, was it cloth diapers with so oh yeah, did yeah. did you have to did y'all throw yeah. away diapers or did you have to like wash them? I didn't do nothing with diapers. No. But okay, but what did your kids yeah. wear? Huh? Like you've got to be had, no no. They had the uh, hey, with pampers? like baby pants. Yeah. Oh yeah. No no. Okay. No. Yeah. I'm against These were that. hanging out on the line no. and all that. Uh -uh. Yeah. No, I'm officially yeah. with Sai. Yeah. yeah. What? Uh, um, yeah. Disposable diapers might be the greatest invention of all time. That's one of the deals like you're talking about. Okay, if that happens. Throw the thing away. Okay. Start over. Start, you know, Let's hey. go. Hey, I'll throw my own clothes away. Yeah, hey. Like, all the problem is I had to hose myself off. Nobody was there to do it for me. Well, there was okay. a golf course in eighth grade. It still has a pair of my underwear. <laughs> I didn't make it back to the clubhouse. <laughs> hey, I can't, and I said, well, leaving these here. I can't tell you how many long sleeve shirts I used to oh, have. That's right. That's yeah. that. That's that, now or short sleeves. That get conveniently that's turned right. into three quarter, uh, then right, the elbow, right. then next right, thing you know, they're right. cut off. I mean, you just, <laughs> yeah. you never know. Like young Willie Robertson. At, at, yeah. first, <laughs> at first, it was just the wrists, a little bit gone from the wrist. Yeah. Yeah. Next it's thing a special you know, boy, hey, he's, gotta got gotta find. The, he's got the Popeye. Yeah. Shirt. No sleeves, period. You ain't got to do that no more, though, because them dude wipes thing come in them little packs. You can keep a whole a whole bunch of them in your backpack while you're hunting. You ain't you ain't got to you ain't got to go to your clothes. But hey, now, I've but. said this before. My hats off, okay, to the fathers that do that. Well, good. Okay, no, I indeed, we just got a hat off to ourselves. Yeah. I, I feel better. Sure. Yeah. Well, no, though. <laughs> hey, it's, it's that makes a, the one I changed this morning feel well, like, no, okay. No, no, no. So I think you're doing a good job, Martin. Well, well good. No, I'm serious. Okay, for those that can do it, okay, they are too. For those that can do it, yeah, everybody you can, can do it. No, 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 not no. everybody can do it. You I'm can you. do it. It's not. No. It's yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to do it, and you didn't have to do it. That's the difference. No. If you would have had two of them, <laughs> said, trust no. me, you would no, do hey, it. I'm just saying the kid would have just stayed dirty. That's terrible. Well, hey, so I said, do you it. like being covered in crap? Well, hey, look, I'm just telling That's you. That's terrible. So well, hey, like, it says it right there in the box, holds uh, 18 to 24 pounds. Yeah, that's the kid. Once they get it full. Not the excrement. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> that's not I like field eight. dressed and live weight. I mean, like, hey, brand new baby somebody, diapers hold eight to twelve said, pounds. Somebody got to come home sometime. Yeah, <laughs> that's hey. unbelievable. Hey, I'm just telling you. Hey, I love the old generation though, well, man. They I didn't do you. that. They didn't hey. do that mess. Like any new fathers out there listening for uh, life advice, this is bad advice. I was giving you. Yeah, uh, change a no, diaper. Hey, it's look, really not I that said bad if you can. Not if you can. No, just hey. do it. <laughs> There's just certain things that I can't do, boys. That's a lie. You're great no. at everything. No. I've seen nope. you. Nope. Nope. Like, I will say, you can't sing, but you started a band. Why can't <laughs> well, you change hey, a diaper? Hold on. Like, hey. like, I don't understand. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I mean, you <laughs> toured for crying out oh, loud. Oh, no, here's the thing. Hey, like, yeah, I toured. I tried to change the diaper. I mean. He y'all. tried to do it and he tried no, to. No, no, look. And then I heard a scream from my wife saying, what are you doing? I said, I'm throwing up all over your child. What do you expect me to do when I have to do this? You couldn't even turn away? Hey, hey, it wouldn't make no difference. <laughs> Trace, I okay, apologize we're both for the last he's sick and minute. mad, and I am too. Oh man, Scott, we also apologize <laughs> to you if you were yeah. part of. Hey, yeah, if your children's therapists are listening to this, a lot of it's making more sense. Now. Oh no, no, hey, they got vomited on as young well, children. Well, no, no, because like, they. Don't. <laughs> you need to just play this, Scott, Trace, y'all here. We'll get y'all this recording. Y'all can take it in. We're we're, we're solving a lot of issues, <laughs> mysteries right now. So, oh man. What a life. I love it. Let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> How many showers do you take a week, Si? Uh, hey, no, I ain't you getting in my bed. You getting the metal in now. I'm <laughs> just wondering because you, your skin always looks nice and dry. Hey, that's because I use my towel. <laughs> okay. That's right, Si. That was they're almost thick. a Godwin joke. Hey, yeah. No, no. Your towel. Thick. And they're fluffy. You're using your towel. Okay, and, my and towel. they actually will dry your wet body. That is okay. A problem. That there's nothing more aggravating. Oh no, than a towel that don't dry. It goes in the trash can as yep. soon as I touch it, and I'm telling, uh oh, I'm still wet. Nope. Uh, trash yeah. can it. Yep. I ain't got to worry about that though with That's my it. towels, because you know if the man can build a pillow. He can build a town. He can build, build a town. Oh, right? yeah. And we're talking about our friend Michael Lindell, and he's looking, always looking for ways to solve everyday problems. That's what he does. Drying off, that's a hey. problem. You need to be drying once you get yeah. out of the shower. Yeah. And he will make it happen. <laughs> he will make it happen. You'll feel like you're drying off with, with clouds, as Sal likes to say. And these six-piece hey. MyPillow towel sets have 100% long staple Shaper cotton. It is a comb ring spun cotton that makes the towel softer and more absorbent than ever. Towels that actually dry you. These towels will not easily peel or tear even after repeated washing and drying. They come in a variety of colors so no matter what your bathroom looks like you can find you something to match if you're into that. My wife is. I'm not. But right now you can receive a six piece set for only twenty nine ninety eight with promo code DUCK. My towels also what a come. deal. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Look, and they come with a 10-year warranty. 10 years? Look. On a towel? That's what I'm They're saying. They're going to last that long. There you go. <laughs> it's Ding. irresponsible for you not to buy this. Ding. Just go to <laughs> MyPillow.com right now and click on the radio podcast specials to get your set of towels for only twenty nine ninety eight. I mean, look. And when, when you're there, go check out your slippers. Mm-hmm. Pro tips. It's wintertime now. All check of the them. slippers yeah. out. Check the pillows out. Towels. Get your whole bedroom covered in my stuff. Well, actually, it's your stuff, but Mike y'all get what I'm saying. Yeah, stuff, yeah. but it's you my stuff. You'll understand when you get it. There you go. <laughs> That's right. Well, then it's going to be yours. There you go. To receive this amazing <laughs> offer of a six-piece set of my pillow towels for only twenty nine ninety eight, just go to mypillow.com and click on the radio podcast specials and enter promo code duck. Go to mypillow.com and enter promo code duck, or call eight hundred nine six nine three one three seven to get your my pillow towels today. That's mypillow.com promo code. Duff. Or call 800-969-3137. What are some other things that you cannot do, Sai? <laughs> yeah, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm interested. There's a bunch of them. Yeah. As a man that can do a lot, because I've witnessed it, what are... So, all right, we know... Now, our opinion is you can't sing. You can sing. I, I actually enjoy your singing, especially in church. Cause Makes me happy. It comes from the heart well, and from hey, the soul, so I, I can appreciate that. And you started a band. You did. But so you but you physically can't change a diaper. Or, what else can you not do? Yeah. Let's go down the list. Hey, I, I, can, I cannot, and I will not. I, I, let's change it. I will not be cold. Okay. Yep. I will set everything on fire before I yeah. get cold. That's, That's true. true. Very true. We, okay, we, and I'm not we a understand that. Can you sew? Oh, yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just trying to, what? I'm just going no, down no. the list Duck here. Duck Dynasty like, season two, sir. I, oh, yeah. No, no. I forgot about that. <laughs> I had a fifth grade teacher, okay? And guess what we t- we done in class? What's that? Set stuff oh. on fire. Oh, okay. did you? Yeah. Like, my little That's sister, cool. Jan Robertson, had the most beautiful doll clothes that ever was made. You made them? And I'm the one that made them. Well, hot dog. That's cool. <laughs> okay, hey, huh. I'm talking about suits, whatever. Did y'all use machine or hand? No, hand. That's hand cool. Stitch. Okay. That's cool. That's that's what's so, You right. can hand yeah. stitch dog clothes, but you can't change a diaper. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I got yeah. a feminine side to me, okay? 
But it doesn't I'm not sound like it. It, what you <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> Sounds like you're feminine when you want to be, but masculine well, when you need okay. to be. Okay, <laughs> no, no, hey, I'm a man, okay, but I can sew. Oh. So if I get a rip in my clothes, I can sew it up. Okay, that's cool. No, I, I was wondering. I cannot. So, oh like. no, in the head thing, I I could not be a nurse. Mm. Too many needles, too much blood. Well, I, yeah, I proved blood. that in my life okay. too. Yeah. Because I, I I know this because I went took my doctor to the uh, took the doctor took my daughter to the emergency room. Well, she had stepped on something and it it had festered up. When the doctor cut her, to let the the, the bad stuff, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fell out? out. Oh, hey, heartbeat. You uh, well, on the floor? The side, oh, hey, the blood, hey. Immediately. Really? That's yeah. crazy. Okay. Yeah. Huh. So, One no. of the greatest hunters of, oh, of all yeah. in America. Yeah. No, nah, I blood. The blood of blood, blood okay. Gets and especially my child's blood. Okay. Yeah. I'm with you. Now. Right. Yeah. So you know this about okay, I mean in again, those that can do it, you know, like you watch you know, your child being born. Now, yeah, I regret that. that. Well, hey, no, <laughs> I did that one, and that's the yeah. first time I can honestly Hold say on. my knees got weak on that Hold one. On. I was like, "Yeah, where's that chair?" Like, my where, brother, I was standing there, and then I was like, yeah. where, "Where'd that? Where'd that stool go?" <laughs> I mean, I just I didn't go out, but I needed to get off of my feet really quick. I was Hold like, I, "My brother, the who's the man?" Motto. Okay, when after he watched one of his children born was. My hand is off to womanhood. Amen. <laughs> amen and amen. Amen. <laughs> Yo, know, so hey. Yeah, that was that. That's yeah. That's crazy. Well, see, I was thinking they're like, I have tried on stuff that like I have zero musical ability outside of a duck call. I can none. play the spoons. Like none. No, no. I have none. I have always said that it was a gift from the Almighty. Oh, music? Yeah. Yeah, I have okay. none. And the reason I say it is because, hey, you know, you know the longest songs I know of is like uh, the Gap Band. That's like 13 minutes. Okay. Yeah, that's Rush, the extended 21, version. 21, 12, I, I, about I, 20 minutes and something. Well, no, no. The whole well, look, first you know, side is one 13 song. 13 minutes, okay. And, hey, you don't know music. You can't read music. Yes, you Somebody hands you a guitar and you listen to the gap band and he He does his thirteen minute song, okay? Yeah. And I'm saying, wait a minute. You don't read music. You nah. See, that's the way my mom is. Yeah. She don't read music. Hear it, and she can hear it, it and play it yeah. on a piano. Like she yeah. can just hear that's it. That's insane. And she finds it. And I'm like, well, why didn't know I, what why didn't I get that gene? Like no, no. that was one you could have passed down. That'd have been cool. Well, that's one of the things because I know God, why God didn't give it to me. Because I got then I'd spend my rest of my t- days in a bar singing. Okay, because I I love you. Know, if I could play a guitar, you know. Yeah, I've tried all that stuff. Yeah. I took Hold music. Le- I couldn't even play that recorder in elementary school. Well, no, no, they got they like got hot the, cross buns and yeah. three blind mice. I couldn't do that crap. Yeah, they like, got the. Uh, I figured out in fourth grade when they made you do the recorder if you just. Sit there. They didn't. There's fifty other kids, so they don't know if you're playing or <laughs> oh, not. Oh yeah, yeah, they know. Yeah, that's why it's a gift. Cause hey, I'll use a conductor. A conductor. Oh, oh yeah, of an orchestra. Not a train. One thousand people have got an instrument in their hand, and he goes. They start, and then he goes. Stop. Third fiddle. Okay, you're playing a D when you should be playing an E. Really? Yeah. Okay. How does he know that? The only yeah. time With I've ever thousand instruments making noise. Well, I've always thought those. Accord. I've always <laughs> thought those conductors were just a formality. Like no, that's just no. part of being in an orchestra. I figured no. everybody knew what they were supposed to do. He that. only saw that on an episode no. of Bugs Bunny. Is the thing? Yeah. Yeah. No, ain't yeah. Bugs that's Bunny. the only time he ever saw somebody he stop it. the whole thing. Yeah, he watched, it wrong. He watched a Seinfeld episode where the old boy broke his stick, and then you know Maestro couldn't. He couldn't be a. <laughs> well, he used his finger. Yeah. So. What else can't you do, Sai? Oh, a bunch of stuff, but I mean, you know. Yeah, no, I was just curious. Yeah. Like, it's, I mean, there's very, I can't sew. I well, did that's, take, that's something I would want to know. What? You so, you talking about sewing, and he said, I could sew up. What, why do they call it darning your socks? 
when you get a hole in your sock, won't they just say you're sewing it up? Why don't they say you're going to darn your sock? Well, you would have to tell me first. My first question was. Darned if I know. Yeah. Because <laughs> I ain't got I a clue. Like you would have to give me the definition of darning. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That's what I, 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 I don't I've either. never heard the words darning your socks. Uh -uh. I throw away socks. Oh, darn your socks. Yeah, if I take my shoe off and there's a hole in my sock, I throw it away and save the yeah. other one and hopefully oh, no. they match well, up what again you wipe in the future. Gun, that's what you wipe your gun off with, dud. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't have to worry about that. I got it. Got if, it. I, if I walk by my wife with underwear, T-shirt, sock, or anything that's got a hole on it, oh, no, next thing that's going to happen, I'm going to be naked. Well, she's fixed good, good she's family, fixed you, family, family show. show. Oh, family no. show. No, no, family no. show. Good yeah, for family you. show. Well, no, family no, but, show. Hey, she's going to tear it off. Okay. Good. Hey, trash can. What's wrong with that? Trash can. Wow. Hey, I'm serious. I'm going to start walking by Brittany with holes in my hey, stuff. It's not going to work for you. No. You ain't got that strut. Hey, she's going to look at me and judge oh, no, no. me. That's all, that's all I'm going to get. Oh, no. The first time it happened, it shocked me. Okay. Because I walked by in the bedroom. I got a hole in my underwear. Good grief, woman. Well, don't oh, we all? <laughs> hey, go. <on. laughs> well, tell us about the word. From that day on, so I started cutting holes hey, in the Hey, how's that, boys? Word to darning. He went through it. a pair a week. But back to darning. <laughs> That's what why he has so many Tommy hey, John. Hey, look. He's ripping them on purpose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the definition of darn? Yeah. We apologize, ladies and gentlemen. No, we uh, don't. To darn <laughs> is to stitch up a small hole in a piece of clothing. Okay. Oh, so it can be go. anything. So, yeah. like, if hey. you have a hole, you hey, put you another. You could darn the underwear. Oh, it's a patch. You, it's yeah, a patch. Yeah, you could darn the underwear. Okay, so it's a patch. I got you. Why do you keep going hey, to my underwear? My mama done that all the time. Just put patches on stuff. Yeah, oh, my yeah. grandma did. Like when growing up, if I busted blue dinky, you know, I, I, oh, no. I, I was husky now. Oh, now oh, they don't. Oh, now blue just, jeans. Now no. you don't do it. You just yeah. leave them ripped. Huh? No, hey, no. No, now. I can't stand a rip. No, 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 no. It's got worse than that. Now they go to a store and they pay $150 That's what I'm talking about. for a pants, a pair of pants that ain't nothing but holes. That's what I'm talking about. They yeah. don't and sew I them said, up no hey, more. Hey, you're stupid. Yeah. Uh oh, okay. people. I don't. I just, used to. I used. My mama used to put patches on all the stuff that I had holes. Now, when we did that fake date, yeah, there wasn't a patch big <laughs> enough because when I sat down on that deal, my britches split from my crotch to my ankle. <laughs> yep. I ain't believe that's the one deal I just knew they were going to show. I was like, oh, they shouldn't have man. done it, and then they didn't, and then they should have. Yeah. Oh, that was hilarious. But my so behind the scenes of Duck Dynasty, whenever we had the fake date, Cy si was Tiffany. Yeah. My britches, when I went to sit on that pallet, ripped from my crotch to my ankle. <laughs> like, because it was just at the wrong angle. And you know, I still husky. Hey, I'm still husky. Hey. And they just went, <sighs> I was like, oh. oh, no. Oh, no. This is like from top to bottom. All the way. Okay. All the way. Yeah. There wasn't no darning there. No, uh, yeah, you, were, uh, no you throw it. That would be a big darn. Yeah. You just needed some relief. That would have been a darn big darn. That's, that's, right. that's what that would have been. See, so. we actually are teaching the people something. Yeah, I had no idea. I, I had no I, idea I what that. darn meant. I, Thank goodness God one was here. I've heard darn, but I didn't know. I said, why do they call it that? It, it used to be a phrase. I can't why not what just it throw is. up that hoe? Something about a stitch a day. So could you darn your tire if it's a pack? Uh, no, it it, it's, it seems to be sewing into. Fabric. Okay. It's a fabric. It's a fabric. Deal. Deal. Okay. Well, good. Well, let's take our last break, and we'll get in that mailbag when we come back. Boy, I got clawed up. I put on a lock. I hung a lock on. Oh. And I have got. And now he's all clawed up. up. I'm talking. Them briars, I eat you up. Look they ain't going to eat me up. Look, I got uh, like old people when they get cut. I hunted, a stand, I hunted a stand last night that I had forgotten about and went in there. <laughs> and the one time I ain't got a limb saw with me and I needed it. And all I had was my saw on my multiplier. <laughs> Do you have any idea how long it takes you to saw a limb oh, yeah. with a saw on yeah. a multiplier? Yeah, but I, it did sawed it. It. It yeah. I did it. I did it. Well, it's sharp because you don't ever use that. Like yeah. you're like, why do they put the saw on these multipliers? I always wondered that. Last night I found out. In case you don't get on the stand for a while. Yeah, 
in case you do something like that and you need it by the time you know what it's about 90 degrees yesterday by the time i got done there wasn't gonna be no deer come within 300 yards of my stinking butt but i mean he i just up there pouring so, but next time i hunt there i'm ready right. you ready next time boy but i ready, forgot ready. about it it was in a persimmon patch and i just happened to i was like i wonder if it's got any persimmons left and i walked and there was still a bunch of them but See, no let, deer let me crawl all up here there was a whole family of raccoons though raccoons. and that was actually really cool to watch no no them work together were there any 50 pounders no no but they sent the smallest one up the tree to knock the persimmons down and the four sat on the ground and would gorge themselves and he would get one every once in a while but the ones on the ground they worked as a group oh, no. like it was it was huh. cool I've, to see I've, I, I've watched those stand up and with them hoofs i mean he cut was them just, off cut them off hanging limbs and you know some persimmons that produce fruit are like that big i mean they're tiny and he was laying them things over and they were falling and they were just fighting and squalling and i mean it was actually <laughs> for a deer hunt that turned into a raccoon observation it was actually a lot of fun i was like oh that's cool that's just to see them work one together. day those raccoons will be 50 pounds no, they're going to no, get they no, eat, no, let me they eat cat food to do that. They'll get snuffed out before they get that yeah. big. All right, so, we're ready? Go ahead. Hayden from Zanesville, Ohio, Trail Cam Diaries. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this a 50-pound raccoon? He says it is, and it proves that's a big I one. right. Good. That's a big one. Hey. No, I'd say that one's probably 25. But yeah. look, here's something 25. else about yeah. that picture. Yeah. Is that? That's not a buck, is it? No, that's two oh. phones. But look. Looks like. If you got coons you got bucks really that's what paula says because <laughs> every time she's killed a buck there's a coon come out there oh so well, now she, she's hunting coons that's well, a big one she sees well, she, a coon she says I, well, oh, well, she lied to me because i didn't see a buck last night she's saying uh, <laughs> oh had, he's seen you i had too many of them they probably I, smelt I, me i'll yeah. tell you another thing you what if you see if you see a skunk coming down a trail what go yeah. go the other way I, no just wait. Here comes the buck. Oh, yeah. Following the skunk? Following the skunk. I ain't got no skunk. Hey, the biggest skunk I ever seen was in Alabama in the mountains up there on uh, uh, Paint Rock Valley. Was he conducting an orchestra? No, no. And look, and he had Bugs more white more white on him than I've ever seen. But he was big as that coon. The skunk was. Really? I, I'm talking about, look, he's 90% white. Okay, beautiful thing. I started Giant shooting him just, skunk. but I said, I, I won't be able to clean him. Yeah, well, you, are, you and smells. <laughs> you and no, no, I started well, shooting him. I've already put the rifle up, and I said. Now, if you told me you cleaned a skunk, but you nope. can't change a diaper, nope. me and yeah. you about nope. to have a big well, issue. No. Nah. It's true. That That's true. Yeah. Hey, if one of them are Why close and do it, i throw up, too. Really? Do people eat oh, yeah. skunk? Do they eat them? I think. Oh, I think God. they do. I met a guy from West Virginia one time who told me about possum head cheese, and I, I've never oh, no. grossed no, in my no, life. No, 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 no. He was hey, my mom and dad ate. I mean, hog head cheese ain't great. Yeah. It's edible. Yeah, but it my ain't mom great. and dad ate po- possum, and so did the whole family. Now, possum? That's out. Yeah, that's no, out. Nope. That's out. Mm-mm. I done seen where they come from too many times. Yeah. Speaking of weird foods from different places, yep. yes. Isaiah. <laughs> lives in north carolina originally from virginia north cackalack is better nothing against virginia but hey north cackalack is i've got something against virginia now i think virginia's Why for lovers that? in virginia we put mayonnaise in our pintos and i was wondering if people down in louisiana put mayonnaise, mayonnaise in their pintos. And pinto beans no. no that'd be mustard no put mustard in them now i have my grandpa did no mayonnaise why are they putting mayonnaise in there, Mark? Who knows? I Martin, I was disturbed by this. I don't know mayonnaise. why you put mayonnaise in anything. You know what goes in beans? Sausage. That's why? Like, why? Ham, why? Ham, like like ham, bacon, ham, sausage, ham. ham, ham bacon. That's the only way to eat meat, pinto beans is just onion, a big old ham bone in the middle. Jalapenos, Ooh. mustard, and barbecue sauce. That's wow. what goes in them. <laughs> that was deep. Why are they putting mayonnaise He's in? He's probably making a kind of a gravy or something. Most people treat mayonnaise kind of like butter. And I just, I, have you ever They're tasted all... butter? It's good. Like, I ooh, like especially mayonnaise. That but butter in that big old block. Like on a ham you can sandwich. Eat it like ice cream. I don't. Oh, no. I, I, I say people just grab butter. That table. block butter, that oh, almond table, butter. Tablespoonful. And oh, just, it's, it's nice. And I'm going, Thorns one. Oh yeah, I can do Don't it. Like, Don't love butter. That's that yeah. Amish butter. I love. He butter puts too. it in his coffee. Colon cleanser. 
Now, I like to cook my steak in butter, the salt, salt butter, but. <laughs> we're we're aware of that. What else? Well, you got I don't. That? I don't know. <laughs> no I, mayonnaise and beans. That's yeah. out. Mayonnaise no, though. Out. I was scarred as a child in the youth group. They hit me with a whipped cream pie, and I knew it was coming. It was a play for the kids. And it was mayonnaise. And it was spoiled mayonnaise. Ooh, ooh, and they all thought oh, it was real fun. rank. I didn't eat mayonnaise, mayonnaise for like a decade after yeah. that. In other words, that was set out too long. Yeah. yeah. Now they did it on purpose, but ooh. oh yeah, they's mad at you for being a rich kid. Are you yep. like an elephant? Did you forget? Did you get eaten? No, I'm just saying. That's that was. That's what it was. Like, we finally got a way we can get him. Man, they well, ain't man. They wasn't no, gonna get you no other way. Oh, I got. I it. don't even know what that. You means. were a victim of bullying, that's right there. Uh oh. They yep. did it to you. Yep, they did it to you. And like, I asked the question: Was you like an elephant? Did you forget or? No, I'll never forget that. Well, one. I'll fix that. I'll never I forget got, getting got, hit in I the got, face. I had to get them back. A on that. plate full of rancid mayonnaise Ooh. that I thought was whipped cream, Ooh. Martin. I did just gag. Ooh, look! You know what you do when you get hit with the whipped cream pie? Eat it. Yeah, yeah you you like? Oh, no, huh. you didn't. Oh, one hundred percent. You oh. put it in your mouth. Oh. I just licked it off my face. I went. Oh. Yeah, and then, then and I said oh. Some, oh. something's oh. wrong, oh. and there's you know, oh. there's forty two oh. kids under the age of fifth grade staring at me. And I was like, Som something's wrong. Boy, one of them was sinister. Whoever uh, got you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, yeah. I, you, it was Billy Loveland. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, my yeah. neighbor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ask him about it. He turned uh, out to be a mailman. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. He did. I bought, oh, I bought, I bought so many duck stamps from Billy. Oh, I love Billy. Yeah, oh, I yeah. do love Billy, and he helped raise me. But that one, that that was a wrong. Oh, I was a haven't forgot one. Billy. Hey, that was a raunchy one. Uh, uh, I'd like to know his side of that. Why he did that? Thing. I pulled. Oh, they all. It was. Everybody thought it was hilarious. I pulled in the road the other day. They had chainsaw cutting one of my trees. It was leaning across the road. He said, "I'm gonna get this and cut it up for firewood. You don't want it, D." I said, no, go no, ahead. no, no, we'll be all right. Go ahead, go ahead. Cut it down. I ain't got a fireplace. So. Yep. Mm. You got got with rancid mayonnaise. Speaking huh. of rancid mayonnaise, you want the verse of the day? Yeah. First John three eight. He who does what is sinful is of the devil, like putting mayonnaise in pinto beans. Not <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a stretch. But he who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. First John three eight. Amen. That's a good one, boys. We'll go. leave y'all with that. We'll Leaving see y'all next time. Have a blessed day.